Alrighty, welcome back to the channel, 99 Ways Crypto. This is Rob. Today, what we're going to cover is how to um, bridge your tokens from the Binance Smart Chain across to the AVAX network. So, let's get into it. DeFi and all things crypto, well, this is the channel for you. So um, one of the reasons I started this uh, YouTube channel was because I often find it difficult to carry out tasks and actions when in the crypto space. And I thought that, you know, maybe mapping out my journey might help somebody else. So that's what I'm here to do. That's my objective. So uh, if you're struggling in the crypto world or DeFi space, then perhaps um, subscribing might be a good idea for you. If you hit the subscribe button, um, you won't miss out on any of the videos. We're dropping them every couple of days. And we cover, as I said, DeFi, crypto. We're doing projects. So what tr projects we're getting involved in. Um, some strategies. So as always, not financial advice. Just what I'm doing. Just entertainment purposes. And the possibility of teaching you how to do a few things that you might not know. So if that sounds good to you, smash the subscribe button. Hang on stop no everyone says smash the subscribe button i'm not going to say that um gently hit the subscribe button and you won't miss out in the videos or give us a thumbs up because at least that helps the algorithm spread it to other people and helps the channel grow so with that being said let's deep dive right into it would i want to um i guess bridge my tokens over from one network to the other well I often use Binance to to purchase my tokens and I usually use BNB um, as my base coin and um, I found a project that I'm interested in and it sits on the AVAX network. So I'm trying to bridge my coins across so that I can buy some um, AVAX and eventually trade that in for another token which in this case is the Thor token. So now that we got the Y out of the way Let's get to the how. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is obviously a MetaMask wallet. Um, there's plenty of videos on YouTube if you don't know how to connect a MetaMask wallet. I'll save that for another video another day. But the uh, f the second thing you will need to do is go over to AnySwap. That's this website that I use to bridge across um, to, to the other networks. Uh, so that's AnySwap.exchange hash bridge i'll drop a link in the description down below so you can click on it so in the any swap um, interface there's this is the uh, home page here what you'll see is the bridge all you need to do go down is click on the bridge and it'll bring you to the main um, bridging page here Alrighty, in the bridge uh, interface you'll see the from in terms of the amount and the to amount so uh, there is minimums and maximums depending on the token But the next thing you need to do we do is we check that we've got the right networks and tokens set up in this area here So at the moment, it's got the Avalanche um, mainnet to the B Binance Smart Chain So we want to go the opposite way. So, so there's the from from Avalanche mainnet to the Binance Smart Chain, but I'm sending it from from Binance, my MetaMask wallet in Binance, over to Avalanche. So I'm going to ch simply change that. So we click on the drop down, and then we look for the Binance main main net. We MetaMask has asked us to switch, which we have now done. So we've switched uh, over, and now we're looking at sending the token from. Binance smart chain to whichever smart chain you want. So in this case, we're going to send it over to the Avalanche. Okay, so we click on the Avalanche mainnet, and now this should, in theory, send our tokens from the Binance smart chain over to the Avalanche mainnet. Okay, and this BNB is the same because it's the token I'm sending. I'm sending BNB, and of course we want it to come out as BNB on the other end. 
So what we want to do is put in the, the amount we want to send and I'm going to send 0.24 because that will equate to two Thor tokens at the other end when I'm ready to exchange them. So I want to have 0.24 um, of BNB uh, in Avalanche on my mainnet so I can transfer that over to AVAX. So let's just scroll down here. Now that we're happy with that, we'll scroll down. Now there's a couple of things here, which is you have a look at this reminder, which gives you some vital information when doing this. So the cross chain fee is zero and the gas gas fee is zero. The minimum cross chain amount is 0 0.014 BNB uh, and the maximum is 14 BNB. Uh, and this is the critical thing here. The estimated time of cross chain arrival is 10 to 20. 30 minutes. Now I did this last night and it took it took 30 minutes to get across. So um, depending on the time of day, it depends how long this transaction would take. So don't panic um, when it if, if you think it hasn't gone through. Cross chain amount uh, larger than 2.8 could take up to 12 hours. So if you're transferring obviously a, a larger sum, then you might have to wait a little longer. All we need to do then is click on swap. Okay. And then we go confirm. Obviously, it'll come pop up our MetaMask, and we will confirm that. And that is now pending, as you can see up here. And so here we go. Once the cross bridge has come up, you can click on that, and it'll take you to any swap, any swap, multi chain. And here you can see the source hash. Um, you can see where it's coming from and where it's going to. Um, so you can have a quick look at that. Click on the source hash and then you'll see that it's been successful. That concludes the process. All you need to do is double check it all through um, MetaMask to make sure it's all gone through. And that is it. So it's a pretty quick video. It's a very simple thing to do. Um, so I hope this helped you out. If it did, uh, tap the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Rob out.